Gastrochesis is a condition in which a baby has an opening or defect on its abdominal wall through which the intestine come out and all lying in a water that surround the baby which is amniotic fluid. It is most commonly seen in younger mothers, particularly those who are less than 20 years old. The outcomes for the baby with this abnormality is very good and the overall survival for the live-born infants with a gastrochesis is over 90% if it is the only problem the baby has. What causes gastrochesis? The exact cause of gastrochesis is not known, however, it has been proposed by different studies that it is more common in younger mothers and those who smoke. There is also an association with the use of recreational drugs. What tests are done in gastrochesis? Unless a baby has other abnormalities in general, no additional tests are undertaken on the mothers. This is because the isolated cases are sporadic, that is, there is no obvious reason for them. How to manage gastrochesis in pregnancy? First, the baby is scanned again by an expert, which is fetal medicine consultant. And if there is any problem, then the baby is monitored regularly with ultrasound scans, usually every two to four weeks to, ch to check the growth of the baby, as some of the babies with this condition may not grow as well as those without this malformation. The patient can also be referred to pediatric or children's surgeon who can discuss the management of the baby after delivery. How is the baby delivered? This condition is not an indication for having cesarean section. If the baby is growing well and the patient doesn't have any complication, there is no reason why she cannot deliver on her own. A significant number of women whose baby have this condition will go in labor before their due dates. And some may deliver early, that is before 37 weeks. It is ideal for her to have baby in a unit where there are surgeons to manage baby condition. Otherwise, the baby is transferred to such unit after delivery. Does gastrochesis happen again in the next pregnancy? Almost all isolated cases are incidental, meaning the risk of recurrence is low. If there are associated abnormalities, then the recurrence will depend upon those abnormalities. Is gastrochesis an inherited condition? Gastrochesis is not inherited especially if it is not associated with any other problem. If, however, there are associated abnormalities, it would be necessary to check the baby's chromosomes. If these are abnormal, then the recurrence risk will depend upon the type of the chromosomal abnormality. In fact, an amniocentesis is the best test to find karyotyping in utero and to detect any associated abnormalities. How is a baby with gastrochesis managed at delivery? The baby's lower body is, is placed in a special clear plastic bag to make sure that the fluid loss through evaporation is kept to minimum. This also helps keep the exposed intestine moist. After delivery, surgery on the baby is carried out to replace intestines and to close the defect. This table explains the differences between the gastrochesis and omphalocele. Gastrochesis location is on one side, whereas and omphalocele, the defect is in the center. Contents are not covered by membranes in gastrochesis, while in omphalocele, there is a presence of peritoneum amniotic membrane. There is no umbilical cord in gastrochesis, while the umbilical cord is, is inserted in the caudal area in the hernial sac in case of omphalocele. The contents of the gastrochesis include intestines, colon, bladder, gonades, the contents of omphalocele usually include intestine, liver, spleen, colon, and bladder. Gastrochesis is rarely associated with other congenital anopheles, which is about 15%, whereas omphalocele is frequently associated with other congenital anopheles, which is in the case of 40 to 80%. Gastrochesis is one of the fetal anomalies and here we have another list of fetal anomalies, which include an encaphaly hydrocephalus, spina bifida, encephalocele, cardiac anomalies, renal anomalies, GID anomalies, torch infections, twin pregnancy, abnormal knuckle translucency which occurs in Down syndrome, epilepsy associated abnormalities, diabetes associated abnormalities, the effect of the different drugs, cystic hygroma, omphalocele, gastrochesis which I have explained here. 
exemplos congenital diaphragmatic hernia meningomyelial seal duodenal hernia choroid plexus cyst ecogenic bowel hollow person cephaly ventricular megaly cpam cleft lip and palate pedal head ops duodenal atresia carry malformation and porter syndrome so thank you so much that was all about gastroschisis Sub subscribe on Absent Gaini Allah Hafiz.